In this module of Chapter 10, Module 10.6, I cover harvesting demography with special emphasis on mass rearing of insects and spider mites. From a demographic perspective, harvesting is concerned with cohort-structured populations where the objective is to remove precisely the right number of individuals from the population to achieve zero population growth. A number of different demographic approaches to harvesting problems have been developed for use by uh, wildlife and fisheries managers to help them determine which age classes to harvest to maintain the highest sustainable yields. The concept of demographic harvesting in insect mass rearing, the examples of which I focus on here, involves identifying the sustainable yield for a cohort subjected to interventions at two key ages the primary harvest age that is typically pre-reproductive and the secondary harvest or discard age that is typically reproductive or post-reproductive. A new survival schedule is then imposed on a harvested population. As an illustration of population harvesting, I will consider an example with the Mediterranean fruit fly that is reared in massive numbers for sterilization and release as a population control mechanism. Single stage harvesting, in this case of pupae, is done at a large Mediterranean fruit fly factory in Tapachula, Mexico. The basic concept can be illustrated with this life table schematic, with age on the x-axis starting at age zero, then age epsilon de denoting the age of eclosion, age alpha denoting the age of first reproduction, age beta the age of last reproduction, and omega the oldest age and survival and reproduction on the y-axis. These schedules are modified by designating age theta as the age at which the cohort is harvested at rate h, and age delta denoting the discard age of the adults. This is typically when females are past their prime reproductive ages. Let theta denote the target age for harvesting and h denote the fraction of the individuals at the target age that are harvested. This leaves the fraction 1 minus h for renewal. The rate of harvest must confer zero population growth, so the uh, value of h must be the solution to the equation where the denominator in the bottom of form of the equation is net reproductive rate and delta is the discard age, i.e. the artificially imposed last day of reproduction and of life. The associated stationary age distribution for the population is given by the following expressions for the fraction of the population at age x, denoted cx. Production rates can be computed in two steps. If c theta is the proportion of the target uh, stage at age theta in the colony after harvest, then the daily per female production rate p is given by this equation, where epsilon denotes the age of eclosion. This number requires doubling, that is 2p, if males need to be accounted for, and the assumption of a one-to-one -one sex ratio is valid. p can also be computed from the equation given here with the more transparent components, including the net reproductive rate in the numerator and the per capita number of adult fly days from eclosion to discard age in the denominator. Using the MedFly example, determination of the harvesting parameters requires two steps. Step one, the harvest rate h. Using a harvest age of theta equal 19 days, that is late pupae, and discard age delta of 40 days, which would be mid-age adults, and a re net reproductive rate of 120 at discard age, then the fraction harvested h equals 0 0.9917. Step two, production rate p. Let L theta equal 0 0.55 for the survival to the harvest age and the number of adult days from eclosion to discard age equal 10.9 days. P is computed from the formula and thus equals 12 uh, female pupae per adult female. My next example of harvesting demography is what I refer to as all-stage harvesting, which, just as it sounds, is concerned with a fraction of all stages of a population that can be removed to confer replacement. Here I use the example of spider mites produced on flats of beans in a greenhouse. After two weeks, a fraction of all flats are removed for harvesting. That is 100% of the mites on the plants with the mites on the remaining plant, plants used to inoculate the plants growing in mite-free bean flats. Then two weeks later, this process is repeated. The objective is to harvest the appropriate number to confer population replacement. 
Let lambda denote the finite rate of increase of the population and h the harvest rate for the entire population, then the fraction of all stages that can be harvested, that is removed, while maintaining population replacement is a solution to the equa this equation. Because the same fraction of each age class is removed from the population, the age structure of the factory population will be identical with the age structure or stage structure of the unconstrained, that is, unharvested population. The rate of population increase for spider mites is lambda equal 1.24, suggesting that 1 minus the inverse of lambda, or 0 0.194, equal the fraction of the entire population of all stages that can be removed daily and still maintain population replacement, or 1 minus the inverse of lambda raised to the 14th power yields the fraction 0 0.95 that can be removed from the population every two weeks to maintain replacement levels. An important perspective of the harvesting model shown here is that the spider mite population is maintained at the stable stage distribution of approximately 60% eggs, 30% immatures, and 10% adults in both the renewal and the harvested components. This ends Module 10.6 on Harvesting Demography of Insects and Mites.